of YouTube, it's Theme Park Basler with Mrs Basler and we're back in the house, I hope you enjoyed the last vlog at Six Flags and uh, back to a good old house vlog and guess what, we came back and the AC is broken again yep, it's been working four days, four days and it's broken again so yeah, we're not very happy are we? no so we're going to have to go and check in a hotel again tonight um, I'll show you what the symptoms are and I'll give you an update on the on the bathroom because they're supposed to be coming tomorrow yeah to work on the bathroom which of course you know we have a few problems slowing them down because we have people coming right so this is the problem that's the problem so basically this is the circuit breaker for the outside unit and when we came back it had tripped um, I reset the breaker which it did reset and reset the AC unit and as soon as it starts it trips um, the AC company wouldn't come out at the weekend because we weren't here uh, to be able to check things out so they're coming tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. and I've sent them a message to tell them what it is but this to me is like an electrical fault on that outside unit nothing to do with what we had before though there is a suppressor on there but the suppressor shouldn't cause it to trip unless the suppressor itself has an electrical fault that they put on last week so we don't know we have no AC in the house it's, so it's 88 degrees so we can't stay here so we're going to go and jump into a um, a hotel, yeah. get some AC, more money that we're having to pay out yep. on that. So I'm not very happy. I'll show you upstairs where we got to on the uh, on the on the on the bathroom. So we're here in the bathroom. We're a bit sweaty because we've just been unpacking a lot of stuff from the last trip. And uh, here, so what's happened since you missed last time? Um, drywall guy came in. Yep. End of last week, and as you can see, all the drywall is done. Though. There's two lights to go in. They've done the drywall, but haven't done the lights yet. So that's tomorrow. The electrician's coming tomorrow to rewire the lights. Um, oh, this drywall was all patched around here. Yeah. A bath is in, as you saw last time. They put this rock, the sheet rock on, but forgot to put a cut out. Put the shower heads, so that needs to be done. And then the tile guy's coming tomorrow yeah. to lay tile on. I'm not carrying tile up for him again. No. Put himself this time. It's way too hot. And then they also finished in the laundry room, didn't they? They did which was ready for painting now, hopefully. So they also patched the uh, holes in the wall, basically, and replaced the drywall. Yeah. Just patched it, and then this is like a finish? Texture. Texture, that's the right word. So that's ready for painting now. Well, I it? need to get some um, primer first. Yeah, and then you get your unit, whatever's gonna go in here for stacking your clothes in and stuff. Yeah, I don't know yet. <laughs> We're gonna go downstairs, because it's way too warm to stay up here. It's probably... It's probably 90 odd degrees up here. Oof. So we have repacked and we're heading to the Rose and Plaza again, aren't we? Yes. Pay more money out of our pocket, as we mentioned. Booked in there a couple of nights because they'll have to come tomorrow and diagnose. Maybe have it fixed tomorrow, but if not, we have a couple of nights booked in there. What can you do? Um, well, I can tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to rip that system out and put another one in. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, when we find out about it at the weekend, I've already been making inquiries with other AC companies. Um, yeah. These people don't seem to be blaming Carrier, now that's the brand that's a piece of junk. Um, they're saying it's our electrical system that's causing the problems, but nobody else on the street has problems. Nope. So, you know, we put the suppressors in, which was the last time to negate that argument. Parts are free, but you have to pay for them to be installed. Mm -hmm. So, long story short, I got two options. I could take them to court, but that would cost me thousands of dollars. Yeah. There is no such thing as a lemon law on this. Um, a new system is about eight thousand dollars for the hardware and probably three or four grand for installing maybe you know 12 grand something like that so we may just have to bite the bullet because basically i'm spending two thousand dollars a year mm. just to keep this thing running mm. every, every year yeah well it's more than that because we're having to pay out for the and the hotel no that's including the hotels I've yeah well so yeah we're just going to um, i think bite the bullet let's get it working first and then we're going to jump into a process of getting some quotes from other companies to come in and basically throw this thing in a skip and go and get ourselves a reliable system. The same one we had in Virginia, American Standard, that ran for 16 years with no problems. Mm -hmm. um, that's, I think, the plan I've got at the moment. But at the moment, first plan of attack is we're gonna go back to the hotel because we're melting in here and we're gonna have a night in the hotel. So join us tomorrow when we'll give you an update on upstairs, what's going on, and also give you an update on the AC and what they discover. Mm -hmm. Catch you tomorrow. Hi everybody, it's um, the following day, it's now lunchtime on the um, Monday run, aren't we? So the AC guy has been out this morning and guess what? The compressor has failed in this unit. Yep, three year old 
Now the comp completely different fault compressor's failed. Um, now obviously it's covered under warranty as everything else has been so far, but labour you have to pay for. So that's going to be another 300 bucks or something when I get a quote from them as to when they can get me a unit and how much it'll cost to put it in to replace that unit. The compressor is the, the big thing in the bottom there. So, um, over the weekend while we were away, I have calling a few companies and I have a couple of companies coming out to give me quotes um, starting tomorrow actually, first one's out tomorrow to, I've got to obviously get this fixed because we can't live in the house don't know when I'm going to get a spare part for this hopefully within a couple of days because it's a compressor and it's nothing kind of crazy fancy that you have to ship in um, so we've got to get it fixed, I'm still going to have to pay out that money and then I'm going to get a company in to quote, ripping this whole thing throwing it in a skip and um, getting me an, an American standard system in that we used in Virginia. We're going to go and we are going to say go back with what we know. We should have done it originally. Stick with what you know, stick with the company up there. So I'm working from the Tesla today. Max is sat out on the porch. We've got all the doors and windows open. It's still 85 degrees, but there's a strong breeze coming off the lake. We got the electricians in. We got the Tyler guys just turned up. So we'll give you an update later in the day. Progress they make working upstairs in this crazy heat. Uh, I don't know, but stay tuned. I think Max is sat on the front porch. Okay, just a little bit later, I just want to make it clear. I think in a few, uh, in the last vlog, I talked about carrier system. It's not a carrier system. Uh, when I looked at it, I want to be very clear that this is a Goodman system. I don't know why I thought it was a carrier system and I kept saying that to the AC company and they kept agreeing with me. But it's not, it's a Goodman system. So I don't want to give carrier a bad name out there, but definitely Goodman. Nah, not a good, not a good man at all. A pretty bad man, actually. Right, it's five o'clock. It's the end of a very hot, sticky day. Yeah. We're still here at the house. Let's fill you on on the house updates first before we fill you in on the AC. Mm -hmm. Max, I'm just going, oh, you haven't seen the bathroom yet, have you? Let's go have a look at what we've done in here. So, a um, few changes in here today and bless them for working through these temperatures. Um, we have the socket in and I hope that's high enough. I hope that's high enough. To go above the counter, I don't think it will be, but um, we'll have to move it if not. We've got the lights in. They haven't boxed it in yet because they're not really sure. They want it over the middle of the sink, don't they? And that doesn't look over the middle of the sink to that, no, does it? it doesn't. And that doesn't look over the middle of the sink either. <laughs> so we'll see. I think he, he didn't really know what he was doing. But the wires are in. And there's enough length there they can move it around. Okay. And then this will need patching. And look at this, Max. Oh, you can see the bath now. He's uncovered the bath as well. Mr. Tileman came back today. And he's been putting Maxine's tile in. This is what you wanted, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit dark to me. <gasps> and this is the stuff we showed you before that's going to go up down this strip here. We're going to have a full width of that now, aren't we? Yeah. Up and down. We, you ummed it hard and laid it all out on the garage floor. Oh, and they've cut, he's cut the hole in for the pipe yeah. as well to come through. I just wasn't sure there'd be enough to do a full strip down, but he said there was. It's a very expensive tile, that, isn't it? Pretty expensive. Well, it would have been, but yeah. yeah. It was quite expensive. So he's working on this now. Tomorrow he'll come back and finish tiling. Maybe grout the day after or maybe grout tomorrow. With your dark grout. No, it won't grout tomorrow. No? They've got, to come finish tomorrow. They've got to come and put a board down here yet. So I hope he realises that. I guess this needs concrete board down. He's gone to the floor on that. So he may have to cut that back a bit. Right. So that's up here. Let me take you outside and talk about the... Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, and the fans in, yeah, sorry. The new fans in. How quiet is that compared with the other one? Really quiet. It's like the one downstairs, the whisper fan. I got one that would just fit in and slot with the old one. So bad lighting up here because uh, the lighting is off at the moment. Where's your podgy towel gone? Top. Uh -huh. Purple one. Oh, it's there. Fans on it. Okay. Right. Let's go outside and talk about the AC unit. Are you staying up here? <laughs> you happy? Yeah. This one's for that light. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're not going to like why. Why would I, I don't get it? Why are they so stupid? They can move them around. He hasn't put a box in yet. But all you have to do is kind of look where the drain pipe is and go straight up. And that's about three inches that that's way. That's way too close to that wall. And you come up this one. And that's three inches that way. Now, did you tell him it, the unit was coming away from the wall? Or did he just measure well, it from the wall? This thing's there for the, to go back in the, it has to go there. Even your socket's not in the middle of where the socket is. That's not in the middle of the two. It should be this side of that thing. 
Anyway, all will be revealed once we get the unit in up here. Well, it's not tall. It's not high enough anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Joy's a contractors. Let me take you the fun part of the story now. Can you stay up there and put the wash? You want to do the washing out before we go back to the hotel? Yes, we're going back to the hotel tonight. Yes, the AC is not fixed. He found that the compressor has failed inside the unit itself. That thing at the bottom, the compressor, the thing that um, compresses the uh, freon and cools things down. Now it is under warranty, so we will get a warranty replacement. And they, they said they give me a quote for the labour for replacing this. I was expecting a quote of around. Three or four hundred dollars for these ACs working. Three or four hundred dollars to do that. Have a guess, Scott. Have a guess. What do you think the quote for doing that? Three hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. Maybe five. Oh. Keep going up. Maybe six. Let's go top. Let's go a thousand. Fifteen hundred. Two thousand. Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. I told them they can go and stick that where the sun don't shine. And half of that is for the Freon that they have to recharge once they put the new compressor in. So um, I spent a good chunk of this afternoon calling people. Um, our contractor here gave me um, some contacts with an AC company. And also um, I rang like um, Home Depot to come around and give us quotes. I'm still working on it. I've got a deal I'm working on now with a company that may be able to install by Wednesday. And... Um, the price they would charge us for installing the full system turnkey and taking the one away is around fourteen thousand dollars so i can pay two thousand three thousand dollars basically on top of the two thousand i paid a week ago to try and fix this unit or i can put that money into a new unit so that would be about fourteen thousand dollars which is what we paid for this unit three years ago three and a half years ago and no there is no comeback on the manufacturer because they are still supplying parts under warranty but they charge you for shipping, they charge you for retesting. You've still got to pay the labour of the people to come out. So my words to the company were, just get me something reliable. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just something reliable that's going to go out there and sit there and work for the next 15 years. So I've been going backwards and forwards on some pricing, looking at different units. There was an upgraded one, but we worked it out between us. It wasn't worth it because it would take like 25 years, based on my electricity usage, to pay off um, the value of it. So I'm waiting for a quote to come through. It's now going five o'clock. And if the parts are in store, they can come and put it in on Wednesday. So we'll see. And the brands I'm looking at now, this is a, a Goodman, like I say, not what I said before. And what I am looking at is probably a train or maybe a carrier. So no, this wasn't a carrier system. This was a Goodman system. And I went back and corrected one of my earlier vlogs on that to make sure everybody's aware. I'm not gonna give carrier a bad name when it's Goodman who have the crappy product that we have here. So bear with us, it's now, we're gonna be packing up here, gonna get something to eat and back to the, uh, we're staying in the Rosen Inn Plaza again. Uh, and that's when we stayed in last time. You know, down by, um, down by um, Wonderworks and all that lot. It's handy, last night we went out to the pub Orlando for something to eat. So we'll get something here, we'll head back there, back here at eight o'clock in the morning, bless the guys for working so hard. We had a bit of a breeze today, I've had all the windows open but it's still 88 degrees in the house for the electrician and for the guy tiling. So um, yeah, we will um, get through it, get through it together. And I think the time has come now to uh, stop, um, you know, stop putting bad money after good or good money after bad, shall we say, and actually, you know, getting this thing um, sorted and just rip it out. Just rip it out and throw it in a skip somewhere. So here we go, stay with us. Um, more joys of um, our AC system to come. Stay tuned. Hello. We're back. We're back. It's now, last time I left you was Monday, sat outside on the porch. And um, it's now Thursday lunchtime. Wednesday lunchtime. Thursday lunchtime. Is it Thursday? Thursday already. lunchtime, yes, already. Um, <laughs> I edited this, I've already started editing this vlog, it's been around a week and we were pretty miserable at the start of it. Yes, we were. Yeah, we're a bit happier today. Um, things have cooled off a bit, I'll give you an update. But to start with, let's talk about the bathroom. What's changed? What's changed? Pretty much everything. Yeah. So, so and the tile, as we mentioned. Well, they came in and put the cement board down, didn't they? Yeah, well, they put the cement they... board down. Yeah, I don't think we showed them that last time. No, because no. They, they did it the same day it was tiling, so we didn't really have time to do it. Yeah, yeah we didn't <laughs> film a lot of it. We were sat outside. 
basically had all the windows and the doors open, been sat outside and had our neck fans on. And Monday when I spoke to you, Tuesday, worked from the home, didn't we? And then we're in doing this in yes. 100 degree heat. Yes. Wednesday you came back in 100 degree heat. Yeah. And today's been back today. We're not in 100 degree heat, but I'll show you why. But yeah, we did this down. Cement board went down, tile went down. And then um, he has completed around the back. And Mac Maxine's signature tile is now in. Just needs to grow out. Yeah, we did run through it with a hiccup, didn't we? Yeah. What was that with? There wasn't enough bull nose to tie around both. This is the bull nose, isn't it? Yeah. The rounded stuff that's on here as well. Yeah. I only, I only would think to get down there. I never thought about it. Yeah, we talked about earlier in the blog. I think they'd taken the, the, window taken sill the window sill off, which we never factored in. And then we weren't having the niching, no. which we never factored in. No. So, um, and this stuff is now out of stock. Discontinued. So we can't get it anymore. So what was your plan B, Max? So I got the shoe left. Yeah, this kitchen. metal stuff. If you saw when we did the kitchen, this is like aluminium shoe left. You got that yesterday. Yeah, thanks. To go around that. and then he's put the tile um, above and below. And then we've put the remaining bullnose. bullnose around there. And this was only going to be a thin strip, I think when we showed people the design, but you had enough tile, didn't you? I had enough tile and it was going to make it really awkward for him because it didn't actually fit. I thought it would be Yeah, you couldn't cut it down, down the middle. middle. It was like an odd number, wasn't it, yeah. of things? and it wouldn't fit in. It wouldn't yeah. um, join each other pretty as well. So yeah. I said, as long as we've got enough, we can do it full. And he's been back today, as you can see where the blue tape is, and did that this morning. And then I think he's going to let that set and then come back and grout tomorrow. Yeah. And it'll basically be done then, won't it? Just tile them, will be. We have two extra boxes of that left over. Yes. And I think we've got five boxes of this. Yeah. But we can take that back, can't we? Yeah. We can take that back to Home Depot and get our money back for that. So I think that's, yeah. Oh, and they cut the hole out as well for where the shower's going I, to go. I saw him doing that. Yeah, and he's done it in the tile. Patience is, was, would not be my virtue. No. It took him a good 10 minutes. Did it? To do that. He's a good guy. He's very, a guy did, very slowly. He's the guy who did the stuff downstairs as well, isn't he? Yeah. And did the laundry room. So we'll probably pause on the bathroom. Next time you see this, we'll do the full reveal. When um, he's finished, counters in, electricians are back to move everything, plaster's done, plumbing's done, sockets are done. We'll still have to paint in here afterwards, won't we? Yeah. But I think things will move quite quickly now. Once we, uh, once the tiling's done, it then frees it up for other people. Or toilet will have to go in, obviously. Toilet will have to go in as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you were happy. Yeah. You were happy chappy now. Last time I was editing this last time is when you were having to fit at the electrics. Oh yeah. 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 You happy with that now? One job to do. One job to do. So let's take you downstairs and talk about more electrical things. Well, that looks a bit different, doesn't it? That's a different one, that. Yeah. As you can see, um, we have a working AC system. So let me tell you a little bit about that, what we did, and I'll show you. Um, last time I was talking about quotes we got from this company. Actually, they were a bit cheaper than what we thought. We could have had the, a basic system installed for about $9,500, mm -hmm. but we would have had to wait a week for them to get the components in. So it's a matter of what you got in stock. So we actually went in the end with the two-speed system that was more expensive. You know, I said we probably won't get his money back, but after the what the... It's been a month. A month we've been out of the house. It was like, yeah, just put it in. So they were able to come yesterday on Wednesday. So they were here from 8.30 in the morning till about four in the afternoon. Yeah. Putting the system in. Um, and fingers crossed, so far, it took forever to cool it down last night. We went out for tea, for a, a Chinese tea thing. And I think I got up at four o'clock this morning mm -hmm. and it was down to 72. Right. But it was like 93 in the house yesterday. We wouldn't have survived without those fans no. that we had. And I'll show you another thing that helped us survive as well, another good thing for electric cars. So I've been working, Max and I have been taking turns in the car for the last few days. You have something, you have a dog mode if you've got a dog in the car, but you also have camp mode. And what camp mode does, it stays, keeps the car on and keeps the AC running. Um, even if the, the car's not going anywhere, which yeah. I think is another good thing with electric. I can sit here in the garage 
in the cool. Yeah. Um, and it's obviously there's no fumes coming out or anything. Nope. So we so we were safe. we were draining the battery on this every day and then charging it up overnight. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we'd last as long as we could in the house. Well, yeah. sit out on the front porch in the morning. In the morning. Have all the doors and windows. Well, the doors are open. Try and get a draft through. And we'd, we'd stay there as long as we could and then we'd jump in the car yeah. to work and I'd work and take my calls from the, from the car and the, the phone's wired into the wire, whatever the speaker here in the car. And so this was a lifesaver for us, wasn't it? It was. Doing yeah. this. And then Maxine's car, we used to go to the hotel. Yeah. Backwards and forwards every night. She has the free electricity. Yeah. With hers. So again, another plus for electric cars. So in here, I had them change that breaker out, which I think is still in this box here. I had a spare one because this is the one we were flipping yeah, every like every two, minutes. every two hours for like four months when it was broken last time. I'm not, I'm convinced that thing had lost its, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Lost some of its uh, uh, usage. I don't know what the right word is to use. But if we look in here now, we have a, and I think it's quite funny because I was giving carrier, carrier a bad name before, a carrier system, which is the brand new system that's in here. So they put all this in, um, dual speed fan again in here. 16 seer system so it's the same as the old one so yeah, this ended up being like 13 as opposed to like nine and a half ten but it is a, a more efficient system it's just it did the calculation now probably won't make me money back but you know You've got AC. we have ac and i'm not paying 100 plus bucks a night staying in hotels for another week which is another 500 bucks um on top and eating out every night because yeah. we weren't here which is another 100 bucks a day yeah. so you know you paid a bit more but we saved some money as well so we have the old one here this is the this is the tile that I showed you. How many boxes we got? Five boxes five of that stuff to take it. back, and you have two pieces of the um, the other stuff. Yeah, I probably keep that. It's not worth going back. Now the other thing I was going to do, you know, I said throw it in a skip, um, but Nick, I had a word with Nick Lodge guy, and he's like, "Why throw it in a skip? Why not just put it on Facebook Marketplace so you can get some money from it?" So here yeah. is the old unit because this is a dual speed fan, and there's a core there, even for scrap. They would have taken this away for free. But we've just put this on Facebook Marketplace for a few hundred dollars, take it away. Might as well try and get some money back from it. And the guy you put the, actually we'll take you outside in a second, but the guy you put the AC system in, um, the other good thing about it is it'll take half the money on a credit card. Yeah. So we'll get air miles from it. Well, more than half the money on the credit card, we'll get air miles from it. And then the rest we could pay in check or cash. But if we pay in cash, the balance, it'll knock us another 300 bucks yeah. off the price for cash. So we're doing that, it's coming, actually it's coming around. They've, bought, they've finished it and gone away, not taking any money. Yeah. It's coming back um, today to get the cash and um, do the credit card. So I saved us a few hundred, if we can give, save 300 bucks on that, we can get three or 400 bucks from this. Um, it, it takes the sting out of it a little bit. A little bit. And I'll just show you the unit outside before we go inside and wrap up. By the way, 16C just means it's a more efficient system. That one I said it was about nine and a half, 10 was, was a 14 seer. This just means it's more efficient and this is the unit that they put in um you see they piped it all in wired into the same thing some wires are coming back today to clean up these with some control wires that they don't need using the same they've used the same suppressors on this and in the panel so we got to you know we haven't wasted money on that and this is the old unit with the broken um compressor but there's copper in there there's a core and so you know Actually, it wasn't just Nick, the, the company that put it in, the guy who put it in says, don't let us take it away, try and flog it. You might want to get a few hundred bucks for it, it's your system. So he honestly was um, giving us the best advice. We'll see, uh, if it doesn't, I may have to pay to get these shipped away. But we've just literally in the last half hour put them on Facebook Marketplace. We'll see if we get any takers on that, but we'll go inside and uh, wrap up this vlog. So there we go. Um, another dramatic week in life. It's actually been like, since this vlog, well, since we started with problems on this, mm. as you saw in a couple of vlogs ago, it's been what, like a month really? Yeah. We've been on and off. And, um, you know, we may look at doing some kind of litigation or whatever with the uh, AC company, with the company, but I mean, the, as I say, the AC companies did give us all, met their obligations to give us components, mm -hmm. but we had to pay money to have them installed. So I'd rather have put that three grand into this. Mm -hmm. Then do you think, I think it's the right decision, yeah. don't you? Yeah. And this is supposed to be a good brand. I was talking to one of the guys at work today and he's had one of these for 20 years right. in a running. We're just a little bit nervous that it's not uh, 
Yeah. It's gonna, you, you know, when something's happened, when you've been burnt, you, you think it's gonna be fragile. Burnt for the last three years. Yeah, 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 since we put it in. Since we put it in. But this thing's got schedule, it's not quite as fancy as the one, the thing, it's got scheduling, we can schedule the things, and it isn't multi zone, but I'm not gonna touch it, we just need it cool AC at the moment. Cool, yeah, until the winter. Until it comes to winter, yeah, then yeah. we might yeah. fiddle with it. Yeah, put a different uh, control, uh, shall we say, thermostat on it. But thank you very much for watching. I know this has not been one of our happiest vlogs, but it ends yeah. on a happy note. You're happy now? Happy now. Happy with your tile? Yeah, I'm happy with the tile. Happy with the AC? Yep. So stay tuned. Coming up um, in a future home vlog, we'll give you the uh, end state of the uh, bathroom, which hopefully will be in the next couple of weeks, really. I hope so. If anyone can get in and get everything done. Um, thanks for watching. Hope um, our pain was your game. If you're living in Florida and you have some of these challenges, um, if, we, if you like what we do, please like and subscribe. It does help the channel. Put your comments below around this drama and your thoughts and comments and we, we will respond and we will see the latter. Bye. Bye.